Hey kids, it's Mr. Hammond, and I was just going to talk to you about how to fill out the bracket, if that's something you want to do. Brackets will need to be turned in on Wednesday. Now, the sub will be there, but you can just drop it off. If you're in Block A, it's going to be Episode 1 basket. If you're in Block B, you'll do it in the Episode 3 basket. Uh, when you fill out a bracket, you're looking at all the teams that made it into the NCAA uh, Final or the Men's NCAA Division I Basketball Championship. So these are all the teams. We have four different conferences. We have the West, the East, the South, and the Midwest. And then they will be playing off against each other to get into the semifinals. So how do you do this thing called the bracket system? Well, you look at your first two teams, and two teams will be together on one little kind of a U-shaped bracket. And they describe teams in a number of different ways. They put a number on the left side. That indicates their ranking. So Gonzaga was ranked 1, which means they were the best team in their conference. And Georgia State was given 18th, which means they were the worst team in their conference. But having said that, there are some teams that didn't even make it into the playoffs. So Georgia State, still doing a great job, should be very proud. But when you look at these, that's one way you can kind of judge who the experts think might be the best. But the other way you can do, look at things is by how many games they won. So Gonzaga played 29 games. They won 26, and they lost 3. Georgia State played 28 games. They won 18, and they lost 10. Now, there are other factors that come into play, but those aren't things that you can tell from this bracket itself. If you're really getting into it, jump online, watch a 20-minute video that describes the teams a little bit, and get some expert advice. Having said that, expertise doesn't always make for a good bracket. Sometimes just picking the team that you like the name of the best can get you some points. So what I'd like you to do, if you want to be a part of this, and we're going to break it down in class where we're going to talk about who's winning and how the points are divided up, is you're going to go ahead and look at your two teams. Pick the one that you think is going to win. So I'm looking at this, and I'm thinking, you know what? Gonzaga is ranked better, but gosh, I like Georgia State. So I'm going to put Georgia State because I'm a rebel. Okay. Then I look down at my next grouping, Boise State and Memphis. And some of these, you may be like, I don't know. Pick the name that's the favorite or pick the one that you think is probably going to win. Just take a choice or, or make a best guess. So I'm going to put Boise State. And I'm going to do that all the way down. So I'm going to pick UConn. I'm going to pick Arkansas. I'm going to pick, uh, well, Rutgers and Notre Dame haven't played yet. They're going to be playing tonight. But I think Alabama is going to beat whichever team wins that. So I'm going to put Alabama. And I'm going to put Texas Tech. Going down to the last grouping here, and that's in this conference. Uh, I'm going to be picking Michigan State. And I'll pick Duke. So that's first round. Those are going to be the people who play first. Then I look at the second round. Here's the second round. It's called the Sweet 16. Um, I'm sorry. That was first round. This is second round. And they're going to be playing to see who plays in the Sweet 16. So in this case, I'll look at Georgia State and Boise, the people I had winning after first round. And I think, um, I think Boise is going to win this one. And then down here, I'm going to pick UConn. I like UConn. And uh, Texas Tech. You can tell I'm spending a lot of time thinking about this. And down here, I'm going to pick Duke. So that's going to be the Sweet 16. And they call that the Sweet 16 because there's only 16 teams in the tournament at that time. All the rest have been eliminated. Then I'm going to look at Boise and UConn, and I'm going to pick UConn as winners. And then I have Texas Tech and Duke, and I'm going to say Duke's going to win that. And then I'm going to have UConn beat Duke. And they're going to be what's called the Final Four. So that's out of the West Division. I say um, UConn's going to win the West Division. Now I'm going to do this type of bracket system for all four. And eventually when I'm done, I'm going to have picked a team. I'll just say I put UCLA. And then here I'll just go ahead and say I picked uh, Kansas. And let's imagine they got Arizona here. And now we have the final four. So UConn's going to play UCLA. That's what I think is going to happen. And I think UConn's going to win. And out of Arizona and Kansas, I'm going to pick Kansas. 
And then I have to look at my final two teams once I filled out all the rest of this bracket and pick who I think is going to win. And this game, I'm going to say it's going to be, what the heck, UConn. And my bracket is filled out. Now, starting uh, this week, when we start having the games, we'll take a look at things on Monday. We'll go through and we'll highlight who won what. And you get points depending on how your teams played or how you picked them. So you get more points as you move on farther. So, like, let's say that UConn wins here. They'll get a certain amount of points. But if they win again their next game and their next game, you get more points each time you move in towards the semifinals. So you'll find some of your teams will just get knocked out and then you can't gain any more points on them because they'll get beat. So, like, if I picked Georgia State but Gonzaga wins, then I wouldn't get any points for Georgia State. But, again, we'll talk about that more after we've gone through and uh, some of the games have happened. All right, so if you want to be a part of this, go for it. There will be a prize for number one um, who gets the best brackets, number two, and number three. I think I'm going to do all top three competitors, whoever gets the closest to the actual uh, real events that take place. Um, and we'll talk a little bit more about that on Friday. So hope you join us for this. This video should show you how to do it. Make sure you get turned in to the episode one or three basket tomorrow so you can participate. Thanks.